CBS Young and the Restless Spoilers as the sun dipped below the horizon in Genoa City, casting long shadows across the manicured lawns of the Abbott Mansion, the unexpected transformation of Mamie Johnson from a treasured family caretaker to a scheming adversary had set the stage for a dramatic new chapter in The Young and the Restless. The once comforting presence of Mamie, now enshrouded in mystery and cunning, suggested a depth to her character previously unseen by the residents of Genoa City and the show's viewers. Her newfound resolve to come out on top and challenge Victor Newman hinted at long-buried grievances or secrets that had festered over time, now driving her to bold confrontation. The exact nature of Mamie's vendetta remains concealed, her motivations obscured by the very discretion that had once made her an integral part of the Abbott household. Now her alliance with Claire and the ominous shadow of Ian Ward's influence cast a pall over the Newman family, raising the stakes to perilous heights. As the investigation deepened, the Genoa City Police Department, led by stalwarts like Paul Williams, pieced together the fragile web of alliance and betrayals. The revelation of Mamie's involvement with Claire brought a swift response. Officers descended upon her last known location, their sirens cutting through the silence of the evening, their red and blue lights splashing against the stately homes of the city's elite. The moment of Mamie's capture was fraught with tension, would she reveal the whereabouts of Claire and Nikki, choosing self-preservation over loyalty to her co-conspirators? Or would she remain steadfast in her silence, a testament to her commitment to the cause she had so surprisingly embraced? As Mamie faced the daunting interrogation rooms of the Genoa City Police Department, her next move was critical. Every word she spoke, every piece of information she withheld could alter the fate of Newman Nikki and shift the power dynamics within the city. Back at Newman Enterprises, Victor Newman remained a figure in brooding intensity. The patriarch, known for his control and dominance, now grappled with the uncertainty of Nikki's safety and the enigmatic betrayal of a woman he had once considered part of his extended family. Victor's vast resources and influence could be mobilized in full force, but the enemy he faced was one who knew the inner workings of both Newman and the Abbott families. Meanwhile, in the quiet confines of the Abbott Mansion, the family matriarch, Jack Abbott, processed the news of Mamie's death arrest with the complex mix of emotions. The betrayal stung sharply, not just for its implications for the safety of Nikki, but for the personal loss of trust in someone he had known his entire life. As the night unfolded, the characters of The Young and the Restless found themselves entwined in a dance of deception and intrigue. Each step they took, each decision they made, was a move in a game where the ultimate prize was the safety of one of their own and the integrity of the family legacies they fought so hard to uphold. The viewers, drawn into the rich tapestry of storytelling, waited with bated breath for the next twist in a narrative that promised to deliver as much heartache as it did excitement.